Hello there, folks. It is Charge A Gaming. Welcome to part 47 of our Neil Robertson Pro career on Snooker 19. And to get to the Daffabet Masters final, we just have to beat the highest ranking player. Not a problem at all. We did beat him, of course, in the last tournament to win the Scottish. Oh, sorry, pardon me, the Scottish Open. Now, I hope you guys are good today. Uh, we've got a big match on our hands, even though. God, I shouldn't have really started this. I keep belching. <laughs> but as you can see, we played the first two rounds. We weren't very good against Bingham. But in the last episode, you would have noticed I was like, oh, we're not going to get much of a challenge from Tr Tr Trump. And hopefully, Selby does give us a good challenge. Because we did play him in the Scottish Open. Finally, ended up 4 3. How much close can you get, really? But. We have got this update that I keep talking about on the 10th of July, which will enable me to change difficulty. So you're just going to have to suck it up for now. The difficulty might not be as hard uh, as I want. It's, it's a pain for me as well because it means I don't get the maximum enjoyment out of these videos. But I think even on medium difficulty, someone like Mark Selby is going to be pretty challenging to play against. But I think we are going to split this over two videos. Just of the four frames today, I doubt we're going to win this one 4-0. So... We'll split it over two videos, and therefore that means it's kind of less games, if that makes sense, before um, less games before we switch to the new difficulty. That's only fair, I think. So I think we'll get, if you figure this out, if we if we do get to the final, um, we'll have this video, which is the 3rd of July. We'll have another one, of course, on the, uh, on the um, hmm, 5th of July. And then there'll be one on the 7th. So the one on the 7th will be the first one of the final. And then, of course, on the 9th, um, well, it's the 8th, isn't it? Oh, God, I'm getting my days all mixed up. No, but the 8th, yeah, because on the 8th, we have that Monday episode. So by the time we get to the Wednesday episode, we will, um, effectively, by this time next week, we will have a chance to get on the new, new difficulty. But good things come to those who wait. I've always said that. But a decent start uh, for Selby here. I might do a bit of highlights in this video. I might try and experiment with that because I think that might be something in the future. That we can maybe work on rather than uh, just full play. But he's done pretty well to protect those two reds that have gone astray. And we've probably just gone a little bit too mad there. Didn't realise it would quite go that far up the table. See, still learning. And as I always said, there's always a gap. This is no gimme. And that is the gap, I think. And Selby's off to a good start. And that's the pot. One. And that let out yellow awfully soft, and he's missed it. Mark Selby, one. Now, you could say, I suppose, that was a safety shot, because to be fair, he's left everything safe. So, fair play to him. Uh, yeah, it's going to be tricky to get out of this. I'm just going to play it down the table, to be fair. He's playing the safety here. So, we've had plenty of uh, success with over the last few games. Equally, not so much success in some matches. That goes any more. There's a chance of that potting. I mean, it's not a bad safety, but I think he'll have a go at this. Yep, it's in. One percent uh, slower or softer. We would have been okay, but actually, again, he's potted that red and not really made much for himself really. There, he's got the one pot on the board. But to be fair, he's left everything pretty much safe. You'd expect that from Mark. Good old sat nav Selby. Hmm. There's no way we can really leave this safe, unfortunately, now. So I think it's just all about damage limitation. Try and get it up to bulk. Uh, and see what happens. He'll want to get this cue ball close to the cushion. If it gets up behind the brown, brilliant. Hmm. That's what I was fearing, that red being on for the middle pocket. Not what he intended at all. No, he is going for this, but can he actually hook up a colour this time? That's a good pop, but where's the cue ball? Nicely back for the blue. One. He'll have to be very careful with the pace here. I mean, what's he doing here? What on earth has he done there? Uh, pfft. Yeah. Foul. Uh, <laughs> I've got absolutely no idea what he's done there. Uh, force him to retake that. Give him another chance. See what he does. He keeps wanting to go for this yellow. And he has hit the yellow this time. But again, I've got no idea what he did that for. Because all he does is just leave this red on. That is a very peculiar shot from Mark Selby. 
He's playing for the right corner here. Very odd. Great shot. I know we're not going to complain. We're going to tight this, or else we're never going to win the game. If we just keep giving Salvi chances, we are never going to win this match. So, try for this black. A little bit tricky, but it should be fine. Yep, there we go. Bit loose though there, I think. Although I think we should be okay. Yeah, just about fine. Hit that red on the way through. Yep, yeah, just about on the black, luckily, again. Nice position on the black. Nice. But they are introducing this new update, the developers. A, uh, I think it's called a Pro Plus aiming aid, which is kind of halfway between what we're on now and the master difficulty. I'd quite like to have a go at that. Maybe if it's just in an exhibition video. Just to see how we get on with it. Because again, I think we've... And pardon the pun. I think we have kind of mastered this difficulty now. So, yes, we'll move the AI up. But I think we'll make it harder for ourselves. And that'll just make it a little, little bit more challenging. 17. But, look on the positive side of this being a match. Uh, we, haven't made a good, we have made a good start here. Straightforward. Yeah, no complaints there. Hopefully that pink doesn't uh, stop us getting to the red. It does, but luckily we've got another one on here, so plenty of reds to go around. That's safe the day at least. Maybe a bit overscrewed there, but we're going for blue anyway. Obviously black was off the cards. So, this is being played let's give this a go. The Not the best positional shot. Oh, it's just about gone in, to be fair. Well Not the best positional shot, but oh, if this keeps running, it might be a bit bad. But we can go for this red down by the cushion. So, we're not playing the best, but we're getting away with it. Yeah, this looks pretty good to me. Although position's a little bit weak. Position looks very good. Here. He's very good. Very well. Arguable. Yeah, that's a bit of an arguable statement. We'll have to take the yellow here. The one that Selby left earlier. For some odd reason. Right, okay. This red should go. No problems here. I mean, you know, we're not really playing the best snooker at the moment, but still getting away with it. And that shouldn't really be the way that it is. You know, it should be punished for any mistake. I understand getting a bit of luck. But not being punished seems a bit silly. Getting that yellow out of the way, though, was crucial, I suppose, in the end, actually. Because now it allows us to get to this straight red, uh, straight blue, even. Thank you very much. See any problems here. Can't see any problems with us really winning this in one visit here. 40. That being said, no, I think we should be okay. Yeah, just screw this back. Could have done with it just being exactly the pace. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that'll do us. Play as little top as possible. Playing for the middle pocket. We don't want the cue ball to run that much. That's an excellent and it's a tighter angle. It's not that great. It's not a straight on the black, but again, it should be fine. And that is a 50 break. But that might well be end of break, to be fair. Gonna have to have a go at this red, I suppose. Just the red required. Just the red needed as well, and it's way off. And he's missed it. Selby can still get back into this. I doubt it, but he can. Neil Robertson, 55. He's taking this red on. Oh, it's a tight red. But if anybody can do it, Selby can. What Great pot. pot. See, they can pot those type of things, and what? then they just miss stupid shots to the AI. It is down to the difficulty, but ultimately when I first started playing this, 
I wasn't at the level I was now, so I'd have been getting whooped every game. But he's missed that red. And uh, one red is all we need, so no problems here. He just needs this red. Down it goes. And there we go. That was the first frame to us. Now we'll skip now, and uh, yeah, we'll skip until we get to the next frame because I don't want. I don't really think you guys are bothered about us clearing up here. It's not like we're going to get a big break. So yeah, I'll uh, see you in the next frame. Here's Selby then for the second break. Didn't really make much of it to be honest. That uh, after we won the frame, we got two reds, two blacks. Just missed that one last red. So it wasn't really much of a clearing up job. But wow, he's, he's left a lot on the start of this frame. It's quite astonishing, really. This won't be easy. Just want to make sure we've got the power on it. We've focused a lot there. Yeah, we have easily. But really focused a lot there on the screw back. So I think we've got a good opportunity to make something out of this. It's given us the opportunity. Ooh, a little bit overscrewed there, but we're okay. Just having a look at our options. One of these will get to the middle, won't they? Yeah. Playing for the middle pocket. Fancy this. And there you well, go, nice pot. pot. I have to suffer for the pink, but it's not the worst nice. situation in the world. Played it well. Fifteen. Problem here. The AI haven't really made us make any mistakes though, have they, over the last few matches. I mean, we were terrible against Bingham, but that was just down to our own foolishness almost. But here we've been uh, fine. Come off the cushion, come off the cushion. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. I mean, yeah, we have made a mistake there, to be fair. Might try this one into the middle. Why not? They've not really got much to lose. This is not easy. No, it's absolutely way off. I'm rubbish at those sort of pots for some reason. That's something we definitely have to work on. But luckily we don't have to play them all that often, so it's that sort of thing that we don't practice them all that often. But that's the first red potted for Selby. Can he give us a real challenge now? For the sake of the game, I do hope so. Six. Oof. Hmm. Out of position a bit already, really. Red to top is all I can think of, but in being so close to the cushion, it's going to be a struggle for him to screw back down here. He doesn't want to overhit this. He's going to play a safety, isn't he? Yeah. Not a bad one, to be fair. No, it doesn't leave anything on, so certainly not a bad safety. Play up to this red then, I guess. Oh, that might not get to it. <sighs> Plonker. The of a foul, there. foul and a miss. Mark Selby, four. I mean, luckily we didn't cause any damage because all he's playing is for safety there. But he's not left it safe and Selby is usually the king of safety. I'm going to take a risk here. And it's there. And now we've opened up pretty much Not all the, the reds. Shot. But it is loose in terms of position. Oh. Although, funnily enough, we are pretty much straight on this black. He's got it. He's what usually he like. <laughs> what about that sort of shot? Perfect. Right, what Eight. do we choose then here? Easy as you like. Great pop. Nine. Rise. Got red set pretty much everywhere now down this bottom. So we're, as I said, trying to work on just making this work. 
But Selby hasn't had a chance so far. Well, actually, he has had a chance, to be fair. Just not used it. 17. But you'd have to say, with the way the reds are, we are well on our way to winning our second frame. Just checking that none of these big colours go. Going to pop this into Gonna have to have faith in playing with top here. Excellent. Just hope that something's on. What Should be if it doesn't go any pot. much longer. It's that pink that's the stumbling block, but it's absolutely fine. As you can see. He's attempting to sink this into the left corner pocket. Great pot. Beautiful. I'm just doing what Dave Endon does. Great pot! Good old Dave, eh? Good old Dave. It does take the immersion out of it a bit, I must admit, for at such a big tournament like this, for us to be just, you know, sweeping along almost. I did think at the Scottish Open, eh, maybe it's because it's not a massive tournament, players aren't that bothered, but at the Masters is a tournament that people are pretty bothered about. But if we can walk all over the the number one like this, well, nobody's really going to give us much of a challenge. Oh, but we've missed the blue. Well, that's one mistake. We're not the best. Neil Robertson, we can't beat anyone in one visit. We do make the odd mistake. It's important to note that. One. Well, Sarby shouldn't have really had much trouble here because, as I said earlier, it should be an easy one to... To uh, clear these, but you never know. And there you go. I mean, honestly, would Selby miss that usually? No way. Might as well give this a go. Yes, he's taking the pot on. And it's there, I think. Where's the cue ball, though? Where's the cue ball? Oh! Talk about getting away with it. Jesus. We're straight on the pink. Oh, well. That would be a hand on the table moment, I think, just to apologise to Selby. <laughs> oh, dear. Let that run a bit. I can't believe that went in. And that uh, the pink was so lucky. I mean, we could have quite conceivably not potted the red, but because of our contact with the pink, potted the cue ball. That could have been a disaster. But ultimately, it wasn't. Eight. Just the black required here. Yeah, it's just the black needed. I was questioning that. But actually, we've ended up... I didn't mean to, genuinely. I didn't mean to end up on the cushion, really. I had a look a bit there. This looks pretty simple. Oh, might have over-screwed that a bit on the black, but actually, it's pretty much perfect. 16. That's not bad on the red. But once again, as for the last frame, I'll see you guys in the third one, because we have won this now. This looks relatively easy. Well, if we hadn't won it, I'd be pretty scared, because he's got to get some amount of snookers to be able to get back into this. 24. Frame three, then. Here we go. Again, I don't want to get cocky and all complacent. Hang on, where's that cue ball? It's not looking too good. Eh, he could have a starter here, I suppose. But I didn't want to get cocky, but it is starting to feel like a pretty comprehensive win. But we have kept that red safe, to be fair. Now, it's weird because the AI have what we don't. If, if we put myself and the AI together, we'd actually have a pretty good player. Because my safety is uh, shocking at times. But I'll say average to be nice. And then the AI's safety is brilliant, usually. But their potting ability... On this difficulty, anyway. Not the AI totally. I can guarantee they'll be a lot tougher on hard and a lot more accurate. But their potting is poor, to say the least. Whereas, I think my potting, it, it, it's pretty good. I suppose that's more down to positional play, which I've learnt a lot over the last few uh, months and days and whatever, and weeks. 
you can see that within my play. You've only got to go back sort of 10, 20 episodes. And we weren't controlling frames like we are now. But 2-0 up in this final. That's a brilliant start. But Selby has got a start here. But as he has usually done, he's fluffed it up because he's got in between the, the reds. But that being said, he's not done too badly there. He's got out of it with that green. And he'll pot the red. The black should be potable. But now going for the blue. And is this Selby's comeback? Perhaps. As John Virgo would say on the old games, perhaps. Oh, God. I mean, even Virgo would make this more entertaining. <laughs> but he's out of position anyway with a break of 18. He's nearly potted the cue ball there. But as I said, you know, their safety play is pretty impeccable. I mean, he's left nothing on. So you can't argue with that. You really can't. And it's the lightest touch on the red. Back up to bulk. And nice and simple. I think this safety in pass could go on for a while, so I will see you guys when there's a chance for pot. Way, 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 way. There you go. Well, I wasn't going to come back to this safety in pass, but we've actually got a snooker on Selby, and he's got out of that one unbelievably well. Fair play to him. But I'm going to have a go at this one to the top pocket. I mean, there's not much risk involved, is there, really? Need to play a bit harder than that, I suppose. Well, it goes. Half a chance here. Yeah, it goes. It's a tricky one, though. It's not going to be frame-ending if it doesn't go in. But there we go. It's there. Brilliant pot. Black does go here. But I think pink would be better positionally, wouldn't it? Be able to, just to get into these reds. Really give this a whack. We've got to go up confident with the pot. Which we are. There we go. The reds are all over the place now. And we're on the road to winning the third frame. Believe me, I'm making this look quite easy. It's not. It really isn't. And I'm not the best player. I think this is difficult. I've just outgrown this difficulty. That being said, we've not the red. And ooh, could be out of position here. Look, that depends how we're on the pink. No, we're not on the pink. It's going to have to be a long blue. And our success rate with these has been mixed recently. I think that's okay though. Well, I'm not surprised he's taking on the long pot here. There you go, no problem with that. Just to tap into the pocket, it did touch the one jaw, but it belongs it doesn't touch both. It's usually okay. Just trying to get this to the other side of the black, but it's so tricky with the trajectory of the ball. We're just gonna have to hope and fat hope and pray that we get something, but the pot's the most important thing sometimes, and it is that time. Ooh. 14. Oh, now the pot's the most important thing, but that is a pretty disastrous positional. Might as well try, try for a Shot pace will lucky pot. Or failure here. But ultimately lacked it. I mean... <laughs> You're going to be lucky to get a safe with where the balls are at the moment, but Neil Robertson. not the worst ball in the world. Very tricky shot coming up. But there is a pot on for Mark here, which is potted. Again, if you wanted an opportunity, this is definitely one. Eight. Mark Selby, eight. Well, it's a bit of a shocker. I don't actually know what happened there, admittedly. Try and get this to the other side of the black. That's to be pretty top, pretty hard to do that. So we've got our faith in the pot, which I think I've got. Brilliant. Great pot. Right. Let's focus on rebuilding here. We're not the favourite for this frame all of a sudden. And that wasn't the best shot. To be fair. Go 
That's good to go, but I'm not that confident. But luckily, it's there. Go on, that could be perfect on the pink. Just out of pure coincidence, and it is. Yeah, there you go then. As I've said before, I don't think it's me that's the problem. It's not the player. It's, um... Well, if it comes down to it, it's the fact that the AI don't give as much of a challenge as they should do. Ultimately, they'd be hitting... Should be. Uh, the better players should be hitting... If they were in this position. That being said, these reds are a bit crowded now. So, mm, I can have a bit of a problem. He's lining this up into the left centre pocket. What a top pop but that's that exactly what we wants to do. Great Get a few red there. split, but go for that one to the middle pocket. That was the plan. Brilliant. Now for the... Uh, yeah, we will play the black here and just hope we can get some sort of collision on one of these reds. Hit that one. Ooh, that's not ended up fantastically. Although we probably can bend this to put it in. Hmm. No, not really. Might be time for a safety. Problem is, though, is there really much safety you can play here? As we just thought it. Uh, get this touching ball. But make sure it's as far away as possible. So he's got a tricky potting angle like we have. We'd hate to give him a chance. That's a poor foul, really. So we've missed it, really. God, that was just too soft then. Trying to go for too much, but he's playing a safety. Unless he's playing a long pot. He is playing a long pot. Obviously, just nudging it on a bit more gave him the clearance to get there. What a magnificent pot. Much closer though in this frame than it has been. And he will go ahead with this black. So he might well make it 2-1 here. Close. No, he's going for the brown and he's missed it. Well, would you believe that? He's actually given us access to both of these reds really here now. That better go in. It's there. One. Right. Black can get it. Uh, sorry, pink can get this near the cushion. And hopefully we should play the red down the table. Must be this lavender waistcoat, genuinely. It's the death of us. He's aiming for the left corner here. Yeah, that's the plan. And it it's goes. there. He's doing extremely well here. Did you say loose? Eight. I think that was very loose. Right, we are going to try something here because we haven't won this before we got to the colours, and that's the first time in the match we haven't. So we are we just going to try and pot the blue, which we haven't got the most success with this game. But luckily that time we have. Just to make it easy to get to the yellow. So we are 18 ahead, 27 remain as usual, etc, etc. Just the colours to go. That's 21 ahead with 25 left. And this will be frame ball, barring any snookers. This green ball now. Yeah. As Folds confirms. But I will broadcast this one to you to see if we can clear the rest of them up. This is all player. No AI, no AI involved here. Not looking bad. Be straightforward enough. Yeah, no problem with that. Oh, that might actually hang on. Come back up, come back up, come back up. Oh, nice. We're planning for it to be down by the pocket for the pink in terms of uh, down by the bottom pocket, but we'll certainly take this sort of position. Oh, we missed it. Wow. 
Not great, but that'll be the end of the third frame. We are now 3 0 up. I mean, we're doing this in record time, aren't we, really? We're obliterating Selby here. And now the frame is his. And I just don't know. Mm, see, a bit. We're not unworthingly winning the Masters because we are, you know, we're, we're playing well. Just the AI are playing crap. So I do wonder maybe whether to leave it till that update until we play the final. Because we are, we are going to go through it's at this rate, right, surely. We're free nil up. There is no way we're going to uh, capitulate now. Because we, we're we going to win at least one of the next four frames which are required to get the victory. This looks to be a pretty simple safety here. But as we said in the last frame, uh, a bit of a safety in pass here, so I will skip it along. Actually, though, hold your horses. We've got a chance at a pot. Pretty much straight away. And there we go, but we've done the old Selby trick. With that shot. One. We've done the old Selby trick here. Give this a nick and hope we don't really leave anything on. Bound to be one ball. Yeah, that one's the right inside, I was going to say that. But he's potted it, but there's not really much on here. Yes, he's potted the green. But again, he's out of position straight away. And he's having to play the safety. Selby's not a player like that. He's a player who only take an opportunity if, if it's there. He said he'd take an opportunity if it wasn't there. Now we've done that in the past. Potted one red and then had to play a safety. And that's why the AI would probably come out on top. And to be fair, we did that this frame. So we can't exactly say... Well, we can say previously. I suppose in the past now. Time's a weird thing now to discuss on YouTube. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. No more Fancy this. Here. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, Back up for the blue. One. I don't wanna I don't wanna jinx anything because I do we're not cut and dry yet to get to this final. Especially in this frame. And the frames can start tumbling away very quickly, but as I've said before, it's pretty unrealistic to say that we're not going to win one of the next how many frames? Four frames. Just tried to play that on for the black, which we have done. There we go, no problems there. I'm well aware the black's going to be back in now, so we had to play and screw back for this. Uh, oh, actually, that red can go. Hmm. Give it a go, eh? I'm a bit harder than I probably wanted. And that's going to make it a little bit tricky for the black now. But we can still do it, I think. Just wants to sink this into the left corner pocket. Yeah, it's there. What a top shot that is. Excellent queuing. Twenty two. And this red will go. Let's try and get a tap on some of these reds. Not what he intended. Ooh, well we've missed. Just not focusing, obviously focusing way too much on position there. Neil Robertson, twenty two. We're certainly not invincible. I, I hate to keep droning on about difficulty. This should really be in the game of snooker. But I don't think Salby's going to clear up from here. Tremendous shot. Seven. He's going for the left corner pocket. I think it'd be interesting if someone went back through all the videos. By the way, I don't recommend that you do. But it would be interesting to see Excellent. what the highest break that... I mean, Jesus Christ, Mark Salby. Selby. What is the highest break that an AI player has made? I do wonder. In this series, that is. Because it's got to be 50 or under. I mean, that's One. poor play, to be honest. 
if it's anything over 60, I'd be surprised. He's playing for the right corner here. This is going to be tight, but it's there. Clean as you like. Uh, that's a top shot. Thank you very much. The reward's just not as much, though, is it, ultimately, you know, from playing games, if you are a, an avid gamer. Well, but if you're watching this just for the, the for the snooker while there's no snooker on the telly... Oh, God, well, we're not playing so well now. Deary me, I'm yapping too much. Neil not Robert focusing Robert enough. Great opportunity to get back into the match. But you know if you're a gamer that One. if the difficulty's not right, you don't get the reward out of it. But, I mean, come on, Selby. Mark Selby. One. You could say, yes, it's reminiscent to the pressure that a player has, but someone like Selby does not play a shot like that, never in their life. You know, if this is what medium difficulty is like, I seriously wonder what easy difficulty is like. This new update could be the the gift for this series. Because while, yes, it'd be brilliant to go and win every tournament, I want to do that with the highest challenge. And this, you know, this is pretty challenging uh, in terms of the way we play. But ultimately, the opponent's not the challenging part, and that's the problem. So I think if we do get into this final, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys. Uh, do we leave it a week before that update? Uh, I mean, this is a tricky yellow, I wouldn't try it otherwise, but there we go, it's there. Shall we leave it a week uh, before we go into the final? I mean, I don't know, I, I could be wrong, we might not be able to actually change... Uh, the difficult. I'm tempted to go for this because that one's a pretty nasty one. Then just get a nick on that and pot it. He really needs to be mindful of pace here. Doesn't want to overhit this. Oh, it's quite a bit off actually. But we've left it fairly safe, apart from that one on the cushion. But leave down in the comments. Should we leave it a week uh, until we get into the final? He's taking the red on. And obviously, a week is a week today is that new update. Does mean that, uh, of course, as per my channel update that I did a, well, yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, west yesterday. That there won't be any content for a week, so I'm gonna have to think about something about that. Five. But I think it, if we, well, Selby might well come back. I don't want to say anything till it's over. Twelve. But I would hate to play. I think it's gonna be a best of nine final. I mean, Selby's a good no, enough player as it is, but oh. Well, Close, start to have doubts about players' pedigree when they start missing those sort of shots and playing with that sort of power. Lovely shot. And what a beauty is picked up there. Half a chance, and he's grabbed it with both hands. Great positional shot. He'll be happy with that. One. Hmm, what do we play here? I'm gonna try the pink. This is no gimme. Nope. No luck. So they could well win this, but if we've got, say, a best of nine against someone like Ronnie and we go and win it 5-0, I mean, come on, that's not entertaining for anyone. I mean, on our difficulty, we could go out and go and lose it 5-0 ourselves. He's lining this one up to the middle pocket. But it's all about reward. But so they could well, will, could well win this frame. He's only got to clear the colours up. Saying that, I don't think he's had more than three pots in a row so far this game, so that's going to be pretty testing. Mind you, I think he will win this frame, because we've been buggering about too much. Yeah, he will, I think. He's only got to pot the blue and the pink. Yeah, he will, so we will be playing another frame today, a little bit like Trump. Let's be honest, we'll, we'll probably win it the next frame, just get our head down and make sure we do win this. Oh, well, he's missed the black, but ultimately the frame's over. And the frame... Mark Probably his highest break of the match, that 27 is. So, it's us to break. In this fifth frame. I could start getting excited and saying, well, it could be the start of a Selby comeback, but ultimately, I don't think it is going to be. He'll be conscious of not overhitting this. Pace is key. Going for a safety though, rather than a pot. Which does leave a, a pot on in the end, or does it? No, I think it does, just. Play with some top, but no more power. This really is tricky. 
This is a tricky pot. Could I open these up, but there we go. Where's the cue ball? Oh, we've done the classic. I mean, we're not playing the best here, but that, I suppose you could say, is all about challenge. Started to capitulate a little bit over the last few frames. But, he, he, well, he's missed the red. Okay. Neil Robertson, Interesting. Four. And I think with that, I think he's snookered himself. So, yeah, we're going to force him to continue here. He'd ask his opponent to play from here. He'll be looking at the easiest escape route here. And, well, he just whacked all the reds open. Half a chance here. Certainly is. Fabulous effort. That's a great call. Excellent position of play there. I have to buy the blue here, not really got much choice. Just get that down the table. And just hope we leave something on. But it's not looking fantastic. Mind you, that red will get to the middle, won't it? Yeah. It will. He's looking for the pot into the right middle. Good pot. Seven. There for the blue, but I wanted to leave up make sure we left ourselves down here. He's an expert long That's why I hit that red, just give us a little bit of cover. Another trademark crunching long pot. Well. Good struggle after this blue actually to get another pot. Oh well we've missed the red. God, what am I doing? What am I doing? Neil Robertson, twelve. Plonker. Selby at this point could quite conceivably come back and win this. <laughs> the way we are playing at the moment, we are giving him chances. I suppose that's what medium difficulty set up for. Ultimately, if you don't make any mistakes, then your opponent can't punt come back to the table. But medium is set up for either player to make a few mistakes. But I think... <laughs> Salby's took the mick, or the AI's took the mick, whatever you want to call them. He's took the mick so far this time, really, with how many mistakes oh, they've sorry. made. No. I mean, Jesus. I think he's playing safe here. But it doesn't feel like the AI really changed massively. The only time I've really felt that is against Ronnie. In which the AI fell seriously hard. He's playing the safety and aiming to get the cue ball tight against the cushion. Yes, I did feel it when I, you know, first played the big boy, the Karen Wilson match. But ultimately after that, apart from that Ronnie match, I'm not fighting. I mean, Higgins is a player that we've seen to beat from the start. I don't think we've ever lost against Higgins, have we? Let's focus on this match. Okay, it's not all over, I suppose, yet. He's taking it on. Oh, well. Good on. pot from Selby. The sort of thing he can do. I'm really surprised he fluffs up the black. There you go. I understand how he missed that. <laughs> this is what I mean. You know, he'll, he'll get a monstrous pot like he's just done. And then miss a very silly one. Tricky pot, no doubt. What a fabulous pot that is. I yes, like that in the crowd. What can he do here? I think one of these reds should go to the middle. Well, he says that's going to be a bit tight. No, I don't think they do, actually. No, I don't think any of these do. So we're just going to have to have a leap of faith and play a safety. <laughs> oh, dear. Looking to play safe here. I think a shot would have only ended up badly there, so we might as well have just played a safety. But we should win this semi-final. It's a bit of a annoyance that we had to lose that one frame. But that was purely for your us playing badly. But you guys still seem to be enjoying this, which is brilliant. I'm enjoying playing. I just don't think we're getting the challenge at the moment, which is a bit of a stinker. The cue ball looks pretty safe no, that here. won't go. That one will, but we can't get to that. Pace is 
absolutely critical here. Correct. It's a nice clip. And that should be safe. Excellent safety shot. He needs to be wary of under hitting this. Yeah, we've got another safety in pass here, so I'm gonna <laughs> it seems that whenever we've stopped, there's actually a, a ball that can go in. So I will be back in just a minute. Here we go then. We did manage to snooker Selby, and the ball is not safe anymore. Although we not played a good shot there, that's a shocker. One. Oh dear. Well, I'm just going to give away the foul here. Because Selby's probably going to be stupid and just play on. Lack of composure, perhaps. Foul and a miss. Neil Robertson. But he's going to go for that one to the middle, and to be fair, he's potted it. Again, we sh shouldn't have really done that, actually, but we couldn't have got out of that. But finally, it, it takes him to be 3-0 down, but finally, once he's 3-0 down, he starts playing well. I just don't get it. But safety there. And a solid one. Any closer to the brown, and he would have snookered us. Very nearly did, as you can see. We only saw the edge of that one ball. Well played. Good safety there. Do I dare cut away again? <laughs> Might as well give this a go. He's got the cue ball in a great position. Pace is the Ooh, key with this just shot. missed. And he will be able to get one or two pots on the board here. And to be fair, he is ahead. I don't know why I'm being so complacent. Went for the snooker and it hasn't really worked out. No, we didn't get, the, get for the snooker, Hendon. Pace is key. Just talk some rubbish. One. Yellow's potted, but he's going to have a tricky pot on his hands here. Not the shot I know he what he's going for, there. but he's going for the safety. Three. Ooh. Mark Selby. Three. Can we get through to that red? We absolutely can. Probably judge a poor shot there from Selby. With this with too much pace. Well, there you go, we've moved all of them. Bit of a stinker that was from the sat nav. He's looking to drop this into the middle pocket. Down it goes. Not looking bad, just gotta slow down. Ah, it's got to be the red to the middle pocket then, no choice. No top needed, certainly. He's taking this on. That's really Oh, we've missed it. Well, wow. I don't know what we're doing, honestly. First three frames, probably the first two actually, we played perfectly. Now I'm just getting way too complacent, I don't know why. That was stupid. Mind you, it was the only shot we could have gone for. And I was just trying to get it positionally right. So maybe it might not be time to move up the difficulty, but, I mean, come on. We're not playing the best of our ability here. No, oh, touch, he's touching ball. But good safety as usual. To be fair, yeah, there's not really much chance of us getting out of this. Well, not a lot, if that's probably a bit of a dramatic one, but... I mean, if we play up to it, he's just going to pop the red, isn't he? No way we can really get out of this and wriggle our way out, I wouldn't say. But the AI tend to be pretty stupid, so I'm going to go for the benefit of the doubt and just play that. Foul. And this could really it'll be a foul, he might well get us to play on. Foul and a miss. But he probably will, yeah, he'll play on himself, thought as much. And that's still not a brilliant position, but it's certainly better than it was. And I know it shouldn't be like that, but again, they seem to be making some pretty silly decisions. This is really tricky. This is tight. Come on, come on, looking good. Good pot. Can't really need. Don't need to move the black, do we? 
This should be pretty straightforward. Use that brown that he gave us. No, the range to the middle is going to be tight, but it should be okay. Need to focus though now. Tempted by this red. Good part. Now we've got to get on the um, the yellow somehow. I think the only way to do that is to pop the pop the brown. Not an easy one, but a half chance. It's not an easy one. We could miss this. It's there, though, but unfortunately, we're not all that great on the black. Uh, sorry, the black, the, the yellow. Ten. So, we'll do our little classic shot. We'll just play up to it. That shouldn't hit off the cushion negatively. That's pretty much perfect. He's played that very well. Neil Robertson, ten. Tor, you jammy git. Mind you, I should have known about that. So, if we come off this cushion, in theory, we should hit it. The risk here is, where does the cue ball live? It could well be free too. We don't want that. We go, we've hit it. But that's possible now. Ah! It's going to clear up again. This is ridiculous. Oh, my God. Well. As soon as I said we're going to win this 4-0, it's been the kiss of death. Really has. Two. Mind you, that's a snooker. Whoops. You won't want to underhit this shot. Mark Selby, two. I feel like Selby's just playing with us, to be honest. Really he do. Wants to slot this into the middle pocket. It's there. Is it? Oh, just about. But ultimately, the Browns not going to be so easy. Three. Safety needed then. If he underhits this. He could be in trouble. Need to get this behind something. Need to get it behind something. Mm, it's not, but it's a long one. The blue could potentially be blocking it. But no, no problem there. This is going to be... Oh, it's going to be free too, for goodness sake. It is as well. God's sake. We've, could, we've just gone mad. Perfect pace required for this shot. A beauty. 15. 22. Unbelievable. Now we're, we're going to play the rest of this frame. Uh, sorry, this episode. But this is just dreadful. We should be, we should have won this 4 now. I know it's great to get some sort of a challenge, but ultimately we're just... Oh, we're just... Not performing here under pressure. to get this cue ball close to the cushion. Yep, yeah, I know that's one pot on, but it's not left much on. Not worked out quite as he intended it to. He'll be disappointed <laughs> with that shot. One. Right, okay. Let's go and win this match. I think if Salby brought it back to free each, be something a bit of an embarrassment, I think. On our part, after right being so straight. cocky. Tom, oh, bloody hell. Neil Robertson, one. Safety here, I think. Well, he's played the safety. It's not a great one, though. I think well, your magic goes. just goes sometimes. No, oh, come on. Fuged, about got out of that. We're playing almost like we did against Bingham, though, which is weird, because we played so perfectly earlier on. Mind you, we got through that match. We should get through this one, but equally, that's loose. It really is. Oh, that ain't going to go, is it? No. So, light safety on this. Back up the table. 
I shouldn't have ran too much. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That looks very safe to me. Neil Robertson, three. Oh. Hmm. This is a combination of me making weird noises now. I think he might That's have got what he was attempting. something here. Got to wait at the, the, the exact power. That's the problem. So I think we're going to hit it a little bit thicker just to make sure we do get to it. But that's pretty much bang on with the power. If we miss that ball off, it would be right to be disappointed. But no, we haven't missed it. So good way to get out of that. Well, that's not worked out quite as he intended. It's been it a to. weird frame. It's been a weird episode, for goodness' sake. Underhit this. Shot, Give this a look. That's a brilliant Good part. And again, it's. I mean, what have we played that actually? Hang on, we might have played a master stroke. I think we can get to the black. I knew we could. Being all. for the frame. Ha! <laughs> oh, Endon's back. Oh, God, this is more like a funny moments video. Well, I'm glad he's so sure, but I don't quite think this is for the frame. Oh, dear. Classic quotes from Endon, eh? <laughs> this is for the frame. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, come on. Actually, hang on. Oh my god. We are just playing some sort of master stroke here. Because <laughs> we managed to keep on the black, and I really don't know how. Deary me. <laughs> That's not bad. I wouldn't say it's perfect. This bloody stupid. That's for the frame. I mean, that just tickles me. That's for the frame, my eye. Uh, right, we're going to give this a go. Well, he's aiming to get the cue ball safe here. Well, we aimed to get the cue ball safe. No, we didn't. We aimed to get that in the pocket. So many times we're rubbish at those shots and we still go for them. I think there's got to be a question about whether I'm drunk at the moment. <laughs> Feels like there's been a day since we played those first two or three frames. We were perfect and all of a sudden, nah, we just can't be bothered. Oh dear, what a strange one, eh? But the reds are definitely spread now. I, again, I see Selby missing a pot. 16. But let's just shut up, shall we? Bit of peace 22. and quiet. He's taking this yellow on. Oh, nice yellow. Position looks pretty good to me. Missed pot. Careless. Mark Selby. Sorry about that interruption, folks. Right, that's the first red. Selby missed. I don't know if you got to see that. One. But a, a break of double figures at the moment seems pretty impossible. This into the right corner. It's a good pop, though. That's handy. And finally, a good positional shot. Four. If you'd have told me after that, those first few frames would be, could well go to a decide. I'd have laughed and oh, for goodness sake! Neil Robertson, four. He needs to be careful of not Jesus Christ! I don't know what's happened. I feel like there's a jinx. I don't like this anymore. Well, to great be fair, shot. it's a great safety. I'll try and give this a tap though. Who knows, it might end up in the pocket. No, it just makes it easier for him to pot it. I, I genuinely feel like the momentum has changed massively. And it's weird, it, it's so odd. Well, he's potted that. The momentum, I just can't believe it. Really weird game this has been. We've just lo lost all sense of... I suppose potting a ball. <laughs> Feels like Salbu was playing with us those first two frames. 
15. And now, well, he's... I wouldn't exactly say he's on fire. But he's playing a 16. damn sight better than we are at the moment. And we are, we are going to get all seven frames into this episode if there is to be seven frames. Looks like there will be, though. But it could be a twist here. Mark Selby. Right. Let's get this done, eh? We've got an opportunity now. No more mucking about. Not an easy one, but a half chance. Right, that's a starter. Good stuff. One. Get the pink and screw back. Playing this into the right centre pocket. Little less power won't hurt. No Black won't block that. There we go. Seven. So here's the red. Now on for the colours. We'll start with the black. Eight. Or will we actually? Uh... Might as well give it a go to try and get to the yellow, eh? Lining this one up to the middle pocket. Beautifully done. Go on, go on, go on, go on. This looks pretty good to me. That's not bad at all. 14. Can't complain at that. Just right. the colours now. That yellow's dispatched. Now for the green. 15. No, down to the bottom is going to be our best positional shot here. Just got to get this potted though, it's crucial this is, I'd say. He's playing the pot here. Got to be tight. But it's there. Pretty straightforward shot here. Brown puts us two behind. Blue will put us two ahead, won't it? No, three ahead. Use some faith of the of some top, eh? Yeah, that served us pretty well. So thank goodness, after a ridiculous episode, it all comes down to this. This to finish it off. And we are in the final of the Masters. God, that should have been ended a long time ago. And the black's there, just to end it off. That has been the most bizarre episode of Snooker 19. Maybe anything I've ever produced, but there you go. I hope you enjoyed if you've been here for the duration. What a bizarre game, eh? 4 twos. the end result. Should have been 4-0, to be honest. Let's have a look at the points. Highest break, 55. No, not that bad, actually, to be fair. Salby, I suppose, 241 points. Highest break of 55, though, Christ. Well, we'll look past that match and never remember it again. It's a pretty unforgettable one, but I don't think we'll ever go back to that one as a, as a point of pride. Maybe the first two frames, but after that, no, it went a bit pear-shaped. But we got the four frames in the end and won it. And we are now into the final of the Masters play. Mark Allen. Oh, it's a best of 11 frames. Okay. Hmm. So we either do one of two things. We either split this into three episodes, which gets up to that 10th of um, July deadline, I suppose, for this update. Or we wait until that update and play the final then. Of course, the... Um, advanced about the first one is that we get into a new tournament once we've played... Uh, since we've got, since we had the update, and that'll be the. Uh, I don't think I'll play the German Masters. I think I'll play the Grand Prix. So yeah, that's, that's your choice. Uh, we either do the three matches, uh, sorry, the three episodes of this, the final of the Dathabet Masters against Alan, which I'm pretty surprised about. To be fair, I suppose we have knocked Trump and uh, Selby out, so Ronnie must have gone out to. I'm guessing Mark Allen and Mark Williams must have lost to Higgins or whatever way round that happened, but not really sure how it works out. We haven't got a tournament tree, which is one of the things I hope they add uh, sooner rather than later into Snooker 19. 
But as I said, leave a comment on what you would like to do. I might even do a poll for it down in the comments. We'll figure out how to do that to get your opinion. But nevertheless, very weird video, but I hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless. I've been TIJ Gavin, and until the next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye for now.